Hola, mi amigos. Hello, my friends. Today, I want to share with you some of mis libros favoritos con palabras en español. Means some of my favorite books that have words in Spanish and English. So, I want to start with books that have few words in Spanish and work our way up to books that have so many words in Spanish. I'm very excited to share these with you. The first book that I want to share with you is Sofia Valdez, Future Press by Andrea Beatty, illustrated by David Roberts. She also wrote Iggy Peck Architect, Rose Revere Engineer, Ada Twist Scientist, and one of my favorite of her books, Happy Birthday, Madame Chapeau. But this book has a few words in Spanish in it. And my favorite words are, Te amo mi vida. I love you, my life. I love that. This is Sofia and her abuelo. Abuelo means grandpa. And here is her perrito, her little dog. It's my favorite in the series. It's delightful. Another book with a couple of Spanish words in it. There's a new Spanish word introduced on each page. This is Round as a Tortilla, a book of shakes. It's by Roseanne Greenfield Thong, illustrated by John Parra. And so if you look at some of these pages, so like round are sombreros, hats. Round is the moon. Round are the trumpets that blare out a tune. So there is the round sombrero. There's another one. Square are ventanas that give a view. Roseanne Greenfield Thong also wrote, green is a chili pepper, which is the same. It has new Spanish words on each page. And John Para also illustrated that one. And she also wrote a Christmas book called Tuas Noche Buena. And this was illustrated by Sara Palacios, who's one of my favorite illustrators. And on each of these page, it introduces new words about some Latinx traditions around Christmas. This book is not a Christmas book, it's a Halloween book. It's called Los Gatos Black on Halloween, written by Marisa Montes and illustrated by Yugi Morales. What do you think a gato is? Is there something that is black on this page? That's right, it's the cat. Cats are called gatos. One cat is a gato. So on this page, there are pumpkins, right? So it says, las calabazas, fat and round. A calabaza is a pumpkin. What I really like about this book that is full of sort of scary things, but not really scary things, is at the end, the thing that is the most scary are the niños the children that show up to trick or treat. The monsters are scared of them. This book is Jalapeno Bagels by Natasha Wing, and it's illustrated by Robert Casilla. This book is about a little boy named Pablo who does not know what to bring to school for International Day. His parents own a panaderia, which is a bakery. And his mom is from Mexico. And his father is Jewish. He does not know what to bring. First, they make pan dulce. Pan dulce is sweet bread. And then they make, oh, we learned this word in the last book, calabaza, pumpkin. They make empanadas de calabaza, pumpkin turnovers. He still doesn't know what to make. And so he talks to his dad and his dad said that they will make bagels. This book also has words in Yiddish in it. And his father learned Yiddish from his bubby, his grandmother in New York. And by the end, Pablo decides that they will make jalapeno bagels because they are a mix of both of his parents, just like he is.
So we talked about Sara Palacios earlier. She illustrated this book, and this is by Metali Perkins. It's called Between Us and Abuela, A Family Story from the Border. When they come to see Abuela, she says, Guapito! She calls Juan, the little boy, little handsome. She also says, Estoy aquí! I am here. And then at the very back, the author's note, she uses some words in Spanish to tell you what the book is about because they go to the border to celebrate Las Posadas Sin Fronteras, In Without Borders. <sighs> it's a lovely story too. It's a lot of fun. It has us crying and cheering by the end. And then the book with the most Spanish words, which I just love, is called Vamos! Let's go to the market. Vamos means let's go. And this is by Raul III. He did the pictures and the story. This page is at the Mercado, the market. They go all around the market. So much stuff to look at. And there are words in Spanish all over the pages. So here, when they take a picture together, say queso. <laughs> queso means cheese. And then at the end of the book, after so much fun in Spanish and English, there's a glossary. There's a list of all the words in Spanish that Raul has used throughout with all of their definitions. Do you have books in Spanish at your house? Or French? German? Italian? What kind of books do you have?